There's been a lot of speculation over exactly what's going on with Tesla's new Model Y with its 4680 battery cells. Well, finally, we have some confirmation on the specs of those cars and on who exactly has been receiving them. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you here. Big shout out, big thank you to those of you who have jumped on my sons, Cal and Jack. They have a BMX channel. They're five and eight years old, and they're really excited about their channel. I'm hoping that it can bring them in a little bit of pocket money, but they need to get a thousand subscribers for that to start happening. So big thank you to those of you on the channel here. I know some of you have jumped on to the channel and subscribed for them. That's really going to help us to get there. Right now, I think they've got about 160, 170 subscribers. We need to get to 1,000. If you could help me out with that, that would be amazing. I'll put a link in the description below to their YouTube channel. And also, I just want to say a big thank you to you for supporting the channel, for subscribing. It's really great to have you here. We have made a 1,300 videos since we started this channel about 11 months ago. So, Tesla, what's going on? Well, Apparently now Tesla employees have confirmed that the only people who've received the new Tesla Model Y with the structural battery pack, 4680 cells, and giga castings both front and rear, in other words, it's basically a three-piece car, which is pretty cool, are Tesla employees. Apparently other people will get them in about two to three weeks. What are the specifications? Well, to be honest, I am a little bit surprised at the specifications. We don't even know the battery size yet. No one has confirmed what it is, but I'm gonna guess it's pretty small because the range is only two, about 280 miles. Considering the range is pretty low, and obviously this vehicle will be lighter, definitely lighter, I think by about 200 kilos compared to this other Model Ys. In particular, if you wanna compare it against a standard range Model Y, and it's going to be probably 300 kilos lighter than that car because that comes with lithium ion phosphate batteries. And of course, it has to have a bigger battery pack. Seeing as these new structural packs have 4680 cells, which are a little bit more efficient. Plus, because the weight of the vehicle is reduced thanks to the giga castings and thanks to also the structural pack, this would mean the vehicle will have more range. So it has to be at least 250 to 300 kilos lighter than the other variants, meaning the battery size must be quite small. I'm gonna guess they're no bigger than 50 kilowatt hour battery pack, maybe 55. But what I wanna know is what do you think in the comment section below? Let me know what you think, what's your guess? We know the range is 280 miles. We know it comes with a structural pack. We know Tesla employees have them. We just don't know anything other than that, other than one thing, which is the price. The price will be 60,000 US dollars in the United States. Now, Tesla actually delivered its first made in Texas Model Y vehicles at the Cyber Rodeo event last week. But it was very strange that at the time, Tesla didn't release any details, any new specifications of their electric SUV, the one equipped with all these new features, of course. So we know that it's gonna have 280 miles of range, this new variant. We also know that it'll be all wheel drive. And we know the price is $3,000 less than the long range all wheel drive, which has 330 miles of range. So the long range version has 50 miles more range and costs only $3,000 more, which to be honest, I don't know. I mean, which one would you get? I'd probably say the long range still seems better value to me. I'm not sure that most people even need all wheel drive unless maybe you live in a really snowy area. The other thing we know about the car, this new model, is its actual performance. Employees have told the electric that it'll do zero to 60 miles an hour in 4.8 seconds, which is slightly slower, well, pretty close to the Tesla Model Y long range variant. There are a couple of new features though. One of those is it has a magnetic center console armrest and a new parcel shelf. So, so far, Tesla has delivered 20 of these new Model Y vehicles to employees. But apparently, it'll be listed online as a new variant within the next few weeks, and then we'll probably get to know more information, battery pack size, etc. If you work at Tesla, or if you personally know the battery pack size, let us know in the comment section below. And by the way, if you want to get in contact with me, the best way to do that is to just join our, our group on Facebook, and that's the easiest way to actually write a post on the board. And then if it's something that you wanna contact me about, mention that in the post and I'll get in contact with you via Facebook. I'll put a link in the description below to our Facebook group, by the way. Right now, I think we have about 500 members, but uh, you know, invites out there. We are welcome to come and join in and we'll get this kind of group thing up and going a bit more. 
so that we can interact and we can talk about electric cars. We can talk about the future and all that kind of stuff. Have a great day and I'll see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.